And we go in Smashville. All right, game one. Let's do this. Losers, semis. No, this is losers quarters. Sorry. Come on, dude. You got to no brackets. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. Dude, dude, dude. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Scroll over. Scroll over to the right. Yeah, this is definitely losers quarters. <laughs> so, Muck, the Muck Father and Sago take an early lead, but Ganondorf ends up killing himself, unfortunately. You have to win playing Ness. Not the Ice Climbers I thought it was. I believe he plays uh, Ice Climbers in Melee, though. Ooh, gets a good kill on Ganondorf there. Not bad at all. Oh, what was Kuta going out there with a meme for? He was nowhere close to that. So, the biggest change with Ness in 3.5 is that the PK Fire no longer activates on shield, so it's no longer free, free shield pressure. So, you gotta be careful about that. That's it's a pretty big, pretty big change for for him. So, he took getting a good knee, but can't quite get the kill. Sago covering pretty well. You got What's going on? You got some Gerby on the mic. How's it going? It's good. Going. Game one loses quarters, not losers semis. As, uh, as Ron thought it was. Losers quarters. All yeah. right. So I've been really enjoying uh, what Muck Father's been doing with Ganondorf so far. Yeah. Oh, that was not the angle he wanted. Though. Yeah, interesting choice there by uh, Grab Two Win. No, yeah, he's been doing a good job with the float and uh, using it to mix up his recovery as well. And it, in addition, to just getting using it as an offensive tool. Uh, which move? The, oh, the float. Yeah, the Gandorf's new float. Yeah, definitely. And he's just oh my god, taking game one. He's <laughs> been doing a great job of just getting like those reads and just taking it home. This is Ganondorf, and once you get the read, then it's pretty much the stock. Yep, you are dead. Dead meat. We got some muck life chance going on. I like it. I like the muck life. <laughs> All right, looks like we're going into game two. I think uh, Sago and Muck Father really have the uh, advantage here. Uh, I would, I, I at would least say. experience wise. Mm -hmm. Although Grabtwin does have a really cool hat. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Kelvin beat Grabtwin in uh, melee doubles. Oh. So. There you go. And I'm pretty sure we'd get destroyed by Sago and Muck Father too. Then again, it's PM, so you never know. Yeah, a little bit, slightly different. I'm not sure which one is Grab to Win's main game. Uh, what's that? Grab to Win's main game, melee or PM? Yeah, I'm not sure either. So we should. I, I, I feel like PM is, um, just because we were waiting for him to finish a PM match to uh, Sorry, to do man. melee doubles. Yeah. So the game starts two v ones. Or 1v1s immediately. Yep. Now we kind of. Ness doing a great job breaking that up from red team. And as I was earlier saying, that uh, the biggest change with Ness in 3.5 is the removal of activation of the PK fire on shield. So it's no longer free pressure. Yeah, that's that's really on. useful. His up B is also uh, a lot longer. Oh, from from the looks of it. Oh no, but he get. Gets wow, by Sago's by coming Sago. back from that. Yeah, he's, he's, he's really good at the, the vertical aspect of Luigi's recovery. So, early on, both both blue team members are down some stocks. Mm -hmm. Have yet to drop one from the red team. Yep. Q-Tip looks like he's playing almost a little bit too reserved uh, for Captain Falcon. Uh, it's worked out a little bit for him um, so far, not just like running into attacks, but he's just not uh, really getting the offensive momentum that he wants. Definitely. Captain Falcon is a character that benefits from that sort of thing. Yeah, you kind of want to put the pressure on them and make them uncomfortable, start doing unsafe things like spot dodging. They managed to take one stack from both, but oh, great tech it. chase by Muckfather. Oh, when he gets the forward air, he is cleaning up Final Destination right now. Yeah, and at the same time, Sago is going in with, what the? Is that an upbeat that got hit out of, or what? I don't know. I heard the noise. Yeah, it made like the Ness baseball bat sound. Or the, the Luigi upbeat sound. Right. Well, that, I think that they added that sound to it. 
That's okay. I have no idea what just happened there. Yeah, it was but. really busy. Let's watch the replay of that later. Yeah. <laughs> oh, unfortunate for Q-Tip. He gets hit by a fireball, and Falcon really can't make it back after that. And that looks Solid like a six stock. Solid six stock for the 2-0. Really quick game two for our loser's quarters.